let Garmin share some important information about your Diesel Headset 100. Your Diesel Headset 100 includes your Diesel Headset, a USB-C charging cable, 3.5mm audio cable, and storage hook. First, let's go over charging your headset. Plug the small end of the USB-C cable into the USB-C port to charge the headset. Plug the large end of the USB-C cable into a power source, such as a USB wall charger or a computer USB port. The status LED flashes green while charging. The status LED is solid green when charging is complete. Once fully charged, the headset will have up to 50 hours of Bluetooth talk time or up to 25 hours of media play time with active noise cancellation enabled. Hold the power button to turn on the headset. A tone will play and the power LED will light up. Now let's go over the microphone boom, buttons and cables. The Diesel Headset 100 microphone boom can be moved to the vertical position to mute the microphone. The headset will play a tone confirming it is muted. Move the microphone boom left or right to enable the microphone and change the headset orientation. The headset will play a tone confirming the microphone is active. The Bluetooth button is used to put the headset into pairing mode. This is required to connect with a compatible smartphone and the Diesel app. Check out our pairing videos for instructions. Press the ANC button to enable or disable active noise cancellation. A tone will play when activating this feature. A separate tone will play when disabling this feature. Active noise cancellation provides the optimal listening experience when streaming music, podcasts, and calls. You can use the rocker to control the headset volume, music playback, and phone calls. The OK Garmin button is used to activate voice assistant features. The 3.5mm audio cable can be plugged into a 3.5mm audio jack to connect to another audio source. Active noise cancellation cannot be used with this cable. Next, let's go over the media controls. Move the rocker up or down to increase or decrease the volume. Hold the rocker up to play the next audio track. Hold the rocker down to play the previous audio track. Press the rocker to play, pause, or resume audio playback. You can also press the rocker to answer incoming phone calls from your paired compatible smartphone and switch to a second active call. To end a call, simply press the rocker. We will now talk about the voice assistant features. Press the Garmin button to activate OK Garmin voice commands with a Diesel OTR device. Check out our videos on using the Diesel headset with a Diesel OTR device for instructions. Hold the Garmin button for three seconds to activate the voice assistant on your compatible smartphone. The phone's voice assistant will activate and receive voice commands from the headset. Finally, let's cover how to utilize the included storage hook. The storage hook can be mounted to a surface using the adhesive pad. When choosing a location to mount the storage hook, choose an area where the headset is not exposed to prolonged extreme temperatures. To prevent accidental damage, move the boom mic into an upright position, then place the headset onto the storage hook. And that's it. I know you will enjoy your new Diesel Headset 100 and hope you found this video helpful. For more important information about your Diesel Headset, please visit support.garmin.com. Thanks for watching.